Hey everybody, Big Rig Steve here with BigRigTravels.com. Today we're talking about the G Power S500. This is a nice little power supply here. Less than 15 pounds. Not bad, you can tell how small it is. 556 watt hours. Uh, it comes with some of the basic uh, connections. For example, it comes with an AC out, which would be good for 500 watts. Peak of a thousand pure sine wave. Uh, while we're talking about this right here, you can tell a big fan. It does come with a simple plug. Plug in here for your AC, so you can charge it that way. When you charge it, from zero to 80% only takes an hour and a half when you use the AC cord. That's not bad at all. So, it's also got your 12 volt. It's got a USB-C in and out, and another USB-C out. It's got two USB-A's, it's also got a DC input, so you can charge it by solar panel, you can charge it by AC, you can charge it by the 12 volt, all sorts of different ways you can charge it. Uh, something else that I really like with this, let's turn it on. Four simple buttons, that's all it is. As you can see, it's got the light. Tap the light again, and it dims. You also got the SOS. You got a strobe light that may save your life one day if you're camping and lost. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, so anyways, you turn the power on. This will tell you in a graph how much power you have remaining. In this case, it's 70%. It will tell you how many hours are remaining worth of usage, uh, output, input, also, like right now, for example, it shows zero watts. We don't have anything connected. If, just like you saw, if nothing is connected in two minutes, meaning no power is coming in or no power is coming out, after two minutes, it will automatically shut itself off. This is a light uh, lithium ion phosphate battery which is a lot safer it's got over voltage protection under voltage protection short circuit protection and uh, really a safe battery a whole bunch of uh, automatic shutdown features so if something did go wrong or or anything like that you're you're safer with this type of battery all right so let's turn it back on now you notice we have 99 hours zero watts going out so anytime you use this whether it's ac or dc you have to turn it on here's your ac and there's your dc so if you have something plugged in here you must turn your dc button on since we have our demo ac plug plugged in there let's turn the ac on and you see ac light comes on or ac indicator <clears throat> Tells you we're pulling 50 watts, 66 watts right now. 66 watts is the output. Right now we're running our uh, freezer in the truck. <coughs> at this rate, at 69 watts, this power supply at 70% will last a good five hours. Now, it'd last longer if we were charging it, of course, or if it was 100%. Now we're up to 72 watts. So you always know how many watts are being used. You always know how long it will last. So you don't have to worry about, you know, say you go for a hike or whatever. You know you could go for a five hour hike, come back and the, and the freezer will still be running. Same thing with DC. You can have all of the items going out. You don't have to do just one at a time. 
you do have a circuit breaker if something goes wrong this hit your circuit breaker 15 pounds not bad at all uh, you can charge this and use it out output at the same time so you know that that's always a good deal all right so let's give you a little bit closer view here <clears throat> right now we have the ac running our freezer at 67 watts if you look you have 69 percent remaining which will be about four hours five hours running at 67 watts you notice it tells you output okay now let's unplug the ac in other words unplug the freezer but let's plug in if i could do this without knocking the camera over let's plug in the input power it takes a second there you go now you see it says input of 300 watts and climbing it will tell you that it will be fully charged in 46 minutes 45 minutes 44 minutes depending on you know how how much power you're bringing in and you also see your battery indicator going up or blinking so it'll tell you how many watts how much time and it'll also give you this vertical view and it works whether you're doing AC, DC, in or out, whatever. This control panel will tell you exactly what's going on. So you never have to worry. You can see it all right there. So overall, this is a nice basic little package for you to take camping. 556 watt hours. That's a pretty good chunk of, of power, you know, for something this small. It's got all the battery protections that we talked about. Uh, basically, any kind of power supply that you need. Uh, your USBs and USB-Cs and A's and DC and charge it by solar panel. I mean, display panel that tells you what's coming in, what's going out, tells you everything you need to know. Uh, camping light. It, it's got everything for a compact little unit light 15 pounds this is a good item by the way g power thanks to them they did mail this to us for an honest review uh i like this product i stand behind this product links down in this description box below check it out maybe take this camping with you